Dr. Michelle Dickinson, aka Nano Girl, has just released the Kitchen Science Cookbook. Here it is. It's a book full of recipes that double as science projects, so you can even eat some of the end results. Good morning. Good morning, Marina. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. What do these recipes entail? Stuff from your kitchen that you will already have that keep the kids busy, but also educated that you can all do at home and eat. Fantastic. I've had a look I've had a look through some of the recipes already. This is like stuff that the kids are gonna do without damaging themselves too, eh? Like yeah. this is this is safe stuff. Safe but stuff, also cheap so stuff. Much fun. Yeah. So most of the thing most of the experiments are less than a dollar worth of ingredients and the chances are they're in your pantry. We did a pantry test with two thousand families around the world and said, Is this in your pantry? And so the re fifty recipes pretty much either have the ingredient in their recipe or an alternative that you could use. That's a fantastic idea. You've brought in some examples yeah. today. Do you want to talk us through that? Okay. These are my unicorn noodles which everybody loves are made from red cabbage so red cabbage is actually purple same reason why beetroot and blueberries are purple they have a chemical in it called anthocyanin which changes color depending on ph right boil the cabbage get the cabbage juice cook some rice or some noodles in it these are the purple noodles they look fun already they but know. the anthocyanin will change color depending on whether it's in contact with an acid or an alkali so I'm going to have you squeeze some lemon juice. Do you know if lemons are acid or alkaline? Well, I would have said they're acid. There's one way to find out. If they're acid, they will go red or pink. Okay. So just squeeze it on that nice side. Nice On this side? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going pink. So while they wow. change colour there, I'll put some baking soda on this side. And what you can see is they'll go blue. And so the kids can start to oh. learn about acids and bases and what the difference is and then start measuring things that you have in your kitchen to see if anything is an acid or an alkali. That's so cool. And if you have, so I like to make Look sweet and sour rice. So yeah. if you make it with rice that's purple and then put sweet and sour sauce on it because the sweet and sour sauce has vinegar in it, it's an acid. Yeah. So their dinner will change colour in front of their eyes and they get to learn about what's in their food. That is actually amazing. So you can just do that because this is this has been in contact with the cabbage. With the cabbage and you can do it with blueberries. You can do, if, you, if you've ever eaten a blueberry muffin, you may notice sometimes in a blueberry muffin it's got a little bit of a green tinge around the blueberry. Yeah. That's because there's baking soda in your mix. Ah. And so the baking soda is an alkali. Your blueberry has the anthocyanin oh. you're doing the and look at how much it's changed hey, it takes a couple of minutes and look at that that is that is that is what crazy. happens if you go and, and eat that blue one that's what well, the, that nice will, it's baking soda it's not great but like <laughs> i said the so, the sweet and sour sauce is beautiful and it's acidic and right. you get to change and we can i mean the kids can do that anyway they can try yeah. they've got to learn about they bases do. and, and, and acids yeah try it sorry kids um what's this the other here? one over here this is our edible candle recipe most kids think candles need wax but you just need a fuel and so we take an almond here um slice it and then you light the almond and it, it's an edible candle they can decorate it with chocolate chips or sprinkles or anything that they want yeah. and they can understand how fire needs a fuel and oxygen to burn so they learn about all of that they put it on something moist so the fire doesn't spread yeah. so in an apple or a potato or we did it on pumpkins we've done it on bananas and then you get to eat the whole thing and so it's yeah. just um, getting the fuel from the almond Oil. itself yeah. yeah it has the oil in there which is a fuel instead of using a hydrocarbon from petroleum which is what the wax is we just mm. use a natural oil that's why we eat nuts because they're full of energy yeah. and all those power cuts and everyone was scrabbling <laughs> around home <laughs> for a candle and you just nuts. got your arm in how do you get time to do this <laughs> No, but you are like one minute you're in, like, you're away overseas, and then you're over here. I just I don't understand. This has been three years in the making. Yeah. So my kitchen has been a lab for three years, and I have a lot of mothers come to me and say, "I wish I could do science. I don't know how. Oh, but I can bake this cake." And so I really wanted to go to people who were great at baking, but yeah. maybe don't have science confidence to say it's the same thing. Yeah. Have some science fun with your kids. Use things at home. You don't need a Bunsen burner. You don't need lab equipment. And as a social enterprise, everyone that you buy online, we um, donate one to a school or a charity in New oh, Zealand. So wow. it's a one for one. It's so good. You do a lot of learning. There's like learning you wouldn't even realise it, would you, as a kid? You'd be science having is lots everywhere. Of fun. And our whole goal is showing kids that science is for everyone. It's everywhere. Anybody can do it. Yeah. You don't need anything expensive. And you get to eat it at the end. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you're making a difference? I hope so. Um, you know, the feedback we have, we survey a lot of kids. We've yeah. surveyed 30,000 kids who've been through our Nano Girl program or something. And it shows that they are more confident in science feel that they could do more science yeah. I don't care if you're a scientist when you grow up I just want you to make informed decisions in your life so yeah. we, we feel that we're making a difference is there a, is there a favorite recipe in the book oh edible worms edible worms edible earthworms so much fun uh, take jelly yeah turn it brown by taking red jelly and green jelly pour it into straws that are upright let them set and then squeeze oh. jelly. it's oh. so much fun